Personality is extremely important when picking a career. In my time applying to medical school, I learned about traits like neuroticism, agreeableness, extroversion, and how important they were in predicting whether you'd be a successful applicant or a doctor. As a fourth year medical student, there's one trait in my experience that hasn't been discussed as much as it should have been. When you're curious, it's just not really something that you can turn off. Uh, you're curious about your anatomy, you're curious about your pathophysiology. Most importantly, you're curious about your patients. And a lot of the times, curiosity from a provider is what leads them to the diagnosis and someone's problem or someone's issues that they're facing. It can maybe spur on some new research questions and maybe it'll make you a better proceduralist as well. Because uh, you're always paying attention to the way the lighting is, the way you're throwing your sutures, the way the patient's positioned. If you're not curious about these things, how can they ever be better, right? What do you do if you're not really a naturally curious person? I was never really somebody who was super curious about things. I think when it came to procedures, I've been pretty curious. Playing basketball, how can I shoot better? But when it came to just learning, I would just kind of take the information at face value and just go with it. And it's a trait that I think a lot of us can relate to because there's so much to learn in undergrad and high school. And even in the beginning of medical school, there's just too much to learn to be curious about. But now as I get further along in my training, I've learned to implement some tactics that make me Practice the act of being curious, because it really is a skill. As much as it sounds like a personality trait that you can't change, curiosity is a skill that you can work on. And maybe you won't be as curious as the person who's been like that their whole life, but maybe you'll make some progress. Three things, let's start with the first thing. The first is to be mindful. When you're on your phone, when you're learning, and you have something that doesn't quite make sense, recognize that moment. Just take a second and be like, hey, I recognize that I don't understand this. And if you have the facilities, Look it up and don't stop looking it up until you're satisfied with the answer that you find. Recognize that you're trying to build a skill and so if you look things up, don't stop until you get what you're looking for. It trains you to be you know, completionist in that sense but also will make you a more curious person over time because you know how to get information and surf the web and find what you need. The second thing is when it comes to studying, as you're reading about your anatomy or your clinical vignettes, make a list of questions. It's something that I started doing a little bit too late to be honest but now, when I'm studying for ENT head and neck anatomy, I ask myself, what is the clinical significance of this surface or this notch or this tubercle? And I know that I'll be able to come back to it when I find it. And, and if I can't look it up at the moment, at least I have the question that I can refer to later when I'm reviewing. And the third thing, which I think is the most important, is to ask more questions in daily life. In your conversations with your partner, your friends, your family, take more of an active role in their lives. Be more interested. If they're willing to share, ask them to share. Uh, a lot of the times you'll find some pretty interesting stuff out. It's more fun for sure. I mean, I love talking to people. I've always enjoyed it. Um, but I'm, I've always been good at asking people questions about how they're feeling. How was their weekend actually? Like, what do they do? Uh, what problems are they dealing with right now? And how are they managing them? I think not only does it make your connection to other people stronger, but it reinforces that idea that I'm a curious person, that I want to know these things because I think, one, it's good to know them, but two, you know, it's just fun to ask. But I think over time, you'll see your personality kind of shift to fit this framework of the kind of person you're trying to become. And you're gonna notice its benefits in how you come across with patients, how you come across with your, with your friends and your family. And you'll, I promise you, you'll feel more satisfied in life. Curiosity is so important. And in the information age that we all grew up in, it's really hard to decide what to be curious about and what's too much information. But I promise you, if you focus on just a couple strategies that I mentioned, just trying to do them maybe once or twice throughout the day, You'll start to become more curious and your patients are gonna appreciate it. People in your life are gonna appreciate it. And maybe one day you'll appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.